Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, you are in contact with Coach. I'm going to go through this video real quick today on the Cotton Sub DTF, how to do a gang sheet. We are only accepting artwork uh, that is gang sheet in a 22 by 36. When we actually do the artwork, it will break it down by probably like a half an inch, but we're going to have you guys to do the artwork at 22 by 36 inches gang sheet so let me show you exactly how we do it going over to pull up something in photoshop guys you cannot do anything in the artwork without setting up the size first you have to know how to size your artwork that's the first step in designing anything if you're doing a house if you're designing a car if you're doing cut and sew clothing you have to know the measurements first so come up right here where it says file you want to hit file new if you're using Photoshop now if you're using another type of software it might be a little bit different but I'm almost believing that everything is gonna be um, exactly the same no matter what software you're using so guys you want to start right here 22 inches across I'm doing mine well I did this at 72 but for the sake of doing the gang sheet we're gonna go 36 inches you want to put that in your resolution do it at 200 resolution if it's at 72 inches, but at 36, you want to definitely make sure that this is 300. 300 resolution. RGB color mode, guys. Do not do CMYK. You can pick other things up in here. You, we want to be using RGB because the colors are going to pop crazy with the RGB. All right. White background. Everything good to go. Go ahead and hit create. All right, it's gonna bring up your workspace. Now from this spot right here, all you gotta do is just load up your artwork. So let's just say we were doing something like, you're gonna try to keep this video. Now I have a few things already up in here. Let's say we wanted to, hmm, we wanted to do this King Von right here. We are gonna pull this King Von in. What size is that? Not really sure. You can tell right here, guys, coming to the corner. If you're using Photoshop, this is how I can tell what size it is. I'm almost guaranteed it's like this in any software. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Shift, the Alt key, and I'm clicking on my touchpad so that I can scale in and scale out like this. And it's going to keep the aspect ratio the same. As you guys can see, as I'm moving in and out, the width and the height is changing. So let's say I wanted to do these eight and a half across all right eight and a half across that's like 11 inches up and down 22 we're gonna get a few of those up in there let's say we wanted to do a couple of those go ahead and control j to make another copy move your arrow key and just move it to the side hold on here might be a little bit wacky right now so let's just boom all right now you can do this a whole bunch of times as much as you want with this particular size in this workspace you'll probably get let's see two four probably six or seven of these but let's just say boom we want to do something else we don't want to do a whole bunch of the same stuff but the idea uh the idea guys is just to get it in there and just size it as you want it raw all right this nipsey here shift alt touching down on my control pad we don't need this one that much say we just want him eight and a half inches up and down because this is not a whole picture we're just going to boom and that's close enough right probably be able to get three four of these across let's see go ahead and hit that check and set them down control J to make a copy move them over boom guys this is how you do it control J just move them over now we only got three up in there I ain't trying to crowd it up too much all right let's go back in there let's say boom uh, what do we want to do guys let's see here but I did do yo yo's logo this is a friend of mine I just played with a logo and got it together for DTL so let's say I was doing some stuff for Yolanda yo yo she want to get let's see what we got here guys we got we gonna do these at like 11 inches tall you ain't gotta be precise but let's just say 11 inches tall we only need two of those so we gonna move that one to the side 
come up here to the corner grab it just turn it to the side so we can get some more stuff at the bottom you want to try to get squeeze in as much artwork as possible and that's probably too wide being let's do 10 boom now we can comfortably get two of these across Control J, make a copy, move it to the side. Now we got two of those. We still got room. We got all of this down here that we can put logos, whatever we want. We still have this down here at the bottom. Guys, just fill it up. That's the whole thing. You just want to make sure that your sizing of your artwork is right. So let's say she wanted to put these right here. And if it didn't have all of this white in it, because you have to send me a transparent background. As you see right now, the background is white, but it is not going to be like that when you send it to me. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off this background down here. I need you to send it to me just like this with a transparent background. But let's say these little logos that she has here, she wanted a few of those. Probably want more of these in actual shirts that she's getting. All right, so Control J. So I'm doing it guys, another control J, pulling them down, we ain't trying to, but this is how you do your game, see, so let's just say you took something else, you put it down here at the bottom, I have a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm just showing you guys real quick, but already you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shirts in this 22 by 36, and you can put probably two more, you know what, just for the sake of, I don't want y'all saying, man, he be talking fast, man. He ain't showing us the whole way. I got you. Look, let's throw this in right here. Some cute little characters. We're going to put them in there. We're going to make them same giddy up. Uh, 12 inches across is probably too much. Let's do the 10 on this one as well. We just want to make sure that we can get two down here. Look, y'all, we got the space. Hit the button. Control J. Make another one, move them on over to the bottom. Now what we got? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine shirts and some logos, QC codes, whatever they call them thing to slap those on the back of the shirts, guys. This is how you do a gang sheet. When you're ready to save this thing, you don't want to save it as a JPEG or anything. Save it as a PNG. Come up to file. Like I said earlier, it should be this way in any software that you have. On this one, I'm going to do save as because I don't want to save it as a TIFF. I might want to do something else different to it. So come down here to where it says TIFF, which is the way my Photoshop is set up. We're going to come down to PNG right here. You got all kind of ways of saving it. Just save it as a PNG, guys. Boom. Label it. All right. We're going to say tester. It's good to go. You find a folder you want to put in it. I'm just going to put it right up in there. Say that joker right there. Now you are good to go. This is what you are going to send to me. Already sized up. Everything is good to go. I'm going to print this out and ship it to you. This right here costs $30 with taxes. $33.08, guys. We're going to get this out to you. You're going to make a whole bunch of money. These right here, you can probably sell these for like $25 a piece. Most of the smaller ones you can do for $20 a piece. So let's go $20. 40 60 80 boom uh 100 140 uh plus these two up here 25 dollars a piece like 190 dollars plus the codes to put on the back guys so that is it i thank you so very much for checking in i think i got somebody outside the shop so i'm gonna talk to y'all later but do the gang sheet the correct way if you guys don't do this and you need me to put it together i do have a spot on the website where you can leave how you want to size it how many you want and all that stuff like that but that's going to cost you 15 dollars for me to set it up for you like this and get your sizing correct but i suggest this is why i'm doing a free video to show you guys exactly how to do it yourself so that is it guys thank you so very much i'll talk to you later okay peace